Hi everyone or welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is an extreme cleaning with me video. I was really hoping that it will be a whole house clean video but I just didn't get to the rest of the house so I can't really call it that. So on this day the kids had their sporting activities in the morning so after that we came home and then they went to watch some football with their dad. So I pretty much had the whole afternoon to get as much cleaning done as I could but I also had to cook dinner in between. I unfortunately didn't get through the whole house but I did get through quite a lot of it so if you need to get some cleaning done I hope this gives you some cleaning motivation to get up and clean with me so when I start cleaning upstairs I normally start with the en suites mainly because it just feels like the room that is going to take the longest time and the most effort to clean up even the kids bathroom doesn't feel like it takes as much effort as this does for some reason but once I've finished the en suite I just feel like I have achieved quite a lot already so going and clean the rest of the house doesn't feel so overwhelming But I don't know why You hit the road But you don't realize I won't look back when you're around I won't think twice when you're gone Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there I just want to shout out a few YouTubers that are always there when I upload a video. They always watch, they like, and they leave really nice comments, like they've really watched. And it really makes a difference to a YouTube channel. When somebody watches your video all the way through, they like, and they comment, it just means so much to us. And I'd just like to say, I really appreciate you. These are not by all means the only YouTubers that do support my channel, but these are the ones I'm calling out today. Now I haven't cleaned the shower or the toilets in this video because to be honest I prefer to do them at night after the kids are gone to bed so that I can get cleaned up after I've done them. Let me know when do you guys like to do these jobs? <laughs> So there wasn't much to do in our bedroom. I really just wanted to give everything a good dust down and I wanted to change the bedding but the weather isn't that great outside and I really need to get the kids bedding changed so I'm going to do that and then next weekend get all this bedding changed over. Now because the kids weren't well the other weekend I've just got this Glen 20 that kills 99.9% .9 germs and I'm just spraying it around the house to try and get rid of any germs that we may have missed. Now this morning I told my son not to worry about making his bed because I knew I had to change it today and he was in a bit of a rush when he got home from his sporting events to get out the door so he'll go to the football. So that's why there's a little bit of a mess to clean up today. Does anyone else do the smell test with the kids stuff? Sometimes they look clean but if you smell them they smell a little funny so I always check them just to make sure and if they smell a bit funny I'll chuck them in the wash.
Now this poster keeps falling down. I didn't have any luck keeping it on the wall. So I've got some command strips and just sat them on the back and stuck it up with that. And it is still up as of today. these glass doors why I do love them the kids just love them too so mainly the youngest he sticks his fingers over the doors and have a lot of fingerprints on there and this balloon I have no idea where the balloon came from like we haven't had any parties or anything at the house and they haven't taken any home from anywhere so I don't know they must have found a random balloon somewhere well found one each because I found one balloon in each room Now, since my kids were really little, they have been using the bathtub to wash their hands and just to rinse their mouth out because the basin was a bit too high up for them. So it does get really messy in this bath. So I'm just giving everything a real good clean. So with the kids bedding, I don't change it every week. I just sort of know, like you have a look at it during a week and you know whether it needs to be changed or not. But I'm just wondering, do you have a set schedule as to when you change their bedding or do you just do the same as me and just sort of eyeball it and sort of know when it needs to be changed?
Now I know it's really late to be taking the Easter decor down but after Easter I went to look for a container and they didn't have what I actually wanted. I didn't want to get something too big or too small so I sort of had to wait for it and I just keep forgetting to go back and check for it. So I'm just putting all my Easter decor in this box at the moment in some bags so they don't get damaged until I actually find the container that I need and I'm just going to put it in my linen closet. Now I do have some clothes there that need to be ironed and put away but I'm going to leave that tomorrow night because Sunday night is the nights that I normally do all my ironing and I have clothes downstairs that need to be done as well. Now while I was here I thought I'd clean the couch down with just these dead old wipes that kill 99.9% .9 germs just to make sure that there was no germs on the couch because I didn't have time to give it a good clean. Yes I keep them in the old baby wipes container because I don't actually like the bags they come in they're just too hard to get them out so I just got an old baby wipes container and stored them in there and they really store well in there but oh my god I love these wipes. I've tried baby wipes which clean it down pretty well but these wipes because I guess they're a bit more wetter than the baby wipes they did an amazing Now just to show you I was making lasagna in between getting everything cleaned up as well as the laundry I was doing in between but it would have been very hard to try and set the camera up downstairs then upstairs then downstairs and upstairs which I was pretty much doing all afternoon. I thought I'd bring you along for this part where I'm just layering the lasagna then I'll put it in the oven and by the time the kids get home it'll be all ready for dinner and yes I did burn the first lot of sauce that I was trying to make because I walked away from it so I've got a bit of cleaning up there to do tonight. Now that I have upstairs all cleaned up and dinner is in the oven cooking, I'm going to make a start on the lounge room downstairs. Morning sun, searching for a longer day. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. Yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name. Grasping to so the kids aren't actually in this room really much at all because they spend most of their time either in the back room playing or upstairs. But this glass table just ends up with fingerprints all over it in no time. Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strive Savannah I'm coming home Savannah Just begun. We will always take a stand for the 
As you can see, this is the clothes horse that we use to put the clothes on. There is a heater vent just above it, so when we turn it on, it really helps dry the clothes. So now I'm just sweeping the stairs down, and then I'm going to give the entry a bit of a vacuum, and that's pretty much all I got done, because as you'll see, they came home. I didn't get anything else recorded, because I tried to spend a little bit of time with the kids tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!